Before we get started with today's video, I definitely want to take some time to thank my friends over at Soul Avant Garde. All right, so Soul Avant Garde is a place where you can go online, type in the website, and you have a plethora of fragrances from the niche world. Now, niches can be intimidating, so sample, 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 and they have those discovery sets as well. Head over there, look around, shop around, and save you some money by using the code DEDRICK20 on anything on Soul Avant Garde. And, um, you know, it's definitely something where, you know, if you're ready to elevate your fragrance collection or get into something new or tap into another level as far as quality goes, hey, Soul Avant Garde has you covered. All right, so head over there, use DEDRICK20, save anything, um, get anything over there except mind games. Except mind games. Don't worry. You can head over to mindgames.com and use Dedrick10 for 10% off anything on mindgames.com. All right. So save you some money, explore, see what you discover, and let me know down below in the comments if you rock with anything. All right. Appreciate y'all. Let's get started with today's video. <music> YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Desiree Alex Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel. Positive vibes only. No negativity whatsoever will be tolerated on this channel at all. Zero tolerance for negativity. Constructive criticism is cool. But positive energy is what we're about here for sure. All right, so a uh, a unique, not unique, a regular degular <laughs> uh, topic in fragcom, especially when it comes to us, the fellas, is signature scents. Everyday wear scents. I only want one fragrance, you know, but now I need two. You know, signature scents, clean, uh, maybe a little masculine touch, something I can wear every day, something I can wear to church, to the office, on a date night, to the gym, whatever. You know, there's 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 guys out there who just they just want that everyday signature scent wear, something that uh, they can be known for. And I come across guys like that all the time. All right, so today I have eight eight recommendations here. These are everyday wear favorites of mine, and I think. Um, that these could be really good options to look into if you're looking for a signature scent in everyday wear, um, you know, as you go in and out of the world every single day. All right, so these are again my suggestions and my preferences. Um, but if you want to check them out, sample them, get out to your department store, get your nose on them, and just kind of see how you feel about them. And if you rock with it, cool. If you don't, move on. All right, so let's get into it. Up first, from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we have for him, Blue Noir, the EDT. The EDT, many of you was thinking the EDP, but the EDT. This one just doesn't get a lot of conversation. The EDP is really, really good. The Parfum is excellent. But this is a fresher take on that EDP that people love so much. And quite frankly, if I'm going for uh, an easygoing, uh, uh, clean, uh, woodsy type of scent. This one just works because it has that freshness to it. It's like a an, an aromatic uh, burst in the opening of this. Um, it's blended really, really well. Performance on it isn't bad. I get around six to seven hours of solid performance of this, but the EDT just doesn't get talked about. It's, it's um, a great price on discounters. I did hear some rumors that the Blue Noir line is going to be discontinued. I hope that's not true. Um, but this this version is on discounters currently. I believe I saw it on Joma Shop for around that $30 to $35 range. This is a great price at testers as well. They have testers with this. So great everyday wear, great scent. You can sample these. There's plenty of places where you can sample fragrance. But I think this is a great signature uh, scent uh worthy candidate here from the house of narcisco rodriguez we have for him blue noir the edt the edt all right up next um I, this is a legendary scent profile and, and fellas if you know anything about uh anything about it yeah what is it um uh, uh, fierce um 
Hey, what's the, I'm forgetting the name of it already. Uh, Amber, Com Amber Crombie and Fitch. Amber Crombie and Fitch? Fierce, hey, there we go. Well, this is a niche, uh, niche quality take on that classic DNA. And they nailed it, and it's really, really good. From the House of Parfums of Marley, we have Percival. One of my favorite bottles as well from the House of Parfums of Marley. I love that blue, that matted blue. This is exactly what Fierce is. Uh, citrus, fresh, clean, musky. Little spices going along in here, fresh spicy tones. It's just really, really good. Great for everything. Couple of sprays and you're good. Um, like I said, a classic DNA. Parfums of Marley got a hold of it and added their two cents in and just really made it that much better. Uh, that much better version of the already existing um, Amber Carmen Fitch Fierce DNA. So, very good. Parfums of Marley run expensive, but you can find these for a relatively good price on discounters. I believe they have them in 75 ml and these 125 ml. So, good stuff here, but great for everyday wear. I, I just don't think it misses in any type of situation. From the House of Parfums of Marley, we have Percival. We have Percival. Great stuff there. All right. Moving along to one that came and went. <laughs> no one talks about this. But believe it or not, this is not my favorite from the line, but I've worn this the most out of the ones that I do have from the line. From the house of Yves Saint Laurent, we got YSL, Y EDP Intense. EDP Intense. When I say came and went, when it came out, of course, everybody was excited, but then as it kind of settled in, people don't really talk about it anymore. So this is what the base DNA of YSL Y is all about. I'm talking about once you remove the apple out of the way, um, you get just the, the base tone of this thing. You get some uh, some freshness, some woodsy tones. There's a bit of uh, a bite of a, a vetiver in here and the dry down. The lavender geranium combo is still here, but this just doesn't have any fruitiness. No fruitiness like your EDT and your EDP and your Lay Parfum. Your old fresh, the ginger in here gives it a nice spice. Um, so this is just why I say why at its core, at its core. You remove the fruit in this out. This is a little bit more, uh, uh, I wanna say masculine because you don't have that fruity presence there. Um, very wearable. I still think it's on the mass appealing side, but a lot of people are gonna smell this and say, give me the EDP, give me the EDT, give me the Le Parfum. This doesn't have that mass appealing, like fruitiness to it. But I like that. <laughs> I like that about this one. So um, it it's one to look into if you're kind of over the uh, hype of what Y Sale Y has become and you just wanna enjoy the DNA, if that makes any sense. Great signature scent recommendation, in my opinion. From the House of Eve, saying, oh, oh, we got YSL, Y EDP, Intense. Intense. You can get this on discounters as well at a good price because ain't nobody talking about it. Up next, let's talk about a fragrance that I fell in love with. All my leather fans out there, listen up. All my uh, uh, people who are out there who are scared of leather, listen up too. From the House of Sabotar Ferragamo, we have Intense Leather. Intense leather. First of all, I love that bottle. That beautiful blue and silver uh, breakdown is really, really nice. This is a fruity, leathery fragrance. There's this red apple, I believe. This juicy red apple blending with this soft leather. This is fire. I just want to get this in the air. I couldn't believe how good it smelled. Man, I told a story before. I was at my local Nordstrom's. I had never smelled this one. Man, that smells good in the air. I had never smelled this one. I've seen it. I think I've heard a little conversation about it, but I've never paid any attention to it. Well, I'm a fan of spicy leather. I really love that fragrance. Bright leather um, It's good. And I said, you know what, what the heck? Let me try it out. Let me just see what I got. Man, I sprayed this on my skin. I, I sprayed it on the, the blotter first. Test the strip, smelled it. Oh, dang, that's kind of good. And sprayed it on my skin. Fantastic. So if you love leather, but you're looking for more of a 
easy going take with a fruity pop to it that blends really, really well. Look into this and you can wear this every day. No matter the season, you can wear this every day. And I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. This is gonna be an office king for me. Office king for me, this stuff is good. From the House of Sapatow Ferragamo, we have intense leather. Again, love that bottle. This is a good, good buy. I call this off fragrance for a really, really good price for sure, all right? Up next, man, this one has taken me by storm as well. A lot of you love it. Um, it's in comparisons to um, Ganymede um, by the same perfumer, Quentin Beach, Beach, excuse me. But um, I've never smelled Ganymede, but I smelled this. It's fire, y'all know what I'm talking about. From the House of Essential Parfums, we have Bois Imperial. Bois Imperial, man. Woodsy, spices, like an ambroxany bomb in here. And it's great, just get that in the air too. Look at that, beautiful atomizer. Oh, it's great, it's great, it's great. It's just, it's a clean, woodsy, musky, spicy tone of a fragrance. And it's great. I remember I smelled it the first time a few months ago. Um, I tested it, I've told the story before, I tested it out on the live stream. I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. I don't know if I'll get a bottle, but it's cool. And when you're in the midst of smelling other things and you know, having your mind on one thing, sometimes, sometimes you don't get to create a good enough experience so you can truly see if you're into this. Well, man, I sprayed that tester and after experiencing it for a couple days, I said, yeah, I gotta add a bottle. Shout out to my guy, Chris, who blessed me mightily with this fragrance, man. Um, this stuff is awesome. Great everyday wear. Don't sleep on this. You get it for a great price. One of the more affordable niche fragrances that are out there. Uh, Quentin Beach did his thing on here. I'm sure Ganymede is fire. I got to get my nose on that. But this is working for now. From the House of Essential Parfums, we have Bois Imperial. A great signature scent candidate. Great everyday wear candidate for sure. All right, up next, we're going to go the Inspired By slash Clone Route. Now, I love Oud, I mean, Royal Oud from Creed. I think it's a stellar scene. But man, it's fire, man. Paris Corner did their thing. From the House of Paris Corner under the Ministry of Oud line, we have Oud Royale. I'm so impressed by this. Now, there's conversations that, oh, it doesn't last that long. Okay. Either reapply or get you some ISOE Super or some Ambroxan, and you'll be good to go, I promise you. Oh my God, pink pepper, citrus, spices, woods, a beautiful oud tone to this. This is fire. This is fire. Now, you definitely get royal oud here, but this is kind of like, like, it's like a fresher take on it. So it's more wearable. You can't wear royal oud in the summer, well, at least I wouldn't wear royal oud in the summer. This is something that you can literally wear all year long. I think that you can. I wouldn't wear it in the highest of heat. But in a summer evening, I definitely would wear it. And, and this is fire, man. They did a really, really good job. This is up as one of the best um, um, inspired by clones that I have in my entire collection. And I've had this for a little while, you know, a couple of months. I've worn it a couple of times and it is really, really good. Great for everyday wear, more on the masculine side. Not as mass appealing, fun and friendly type of fragrance, but um, it's good. From the House of Paris Corner, from the Ministry of Oud line, we have Oud Royale. Oud Royale, all right. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about two uh, veterans <laughs> in my collection, and um, they just fit this conversation for sure. From the House of Masoni, we have Masoni Pour Own. Masoni Pour Own. Now this is in the realm of your Blue de Chanel DNA. The lemon, uh, the citrus lemon, the ginger, the sandalwood is really featured here. Beautiful atomizer as well. Yeah, ginger, beautiful ginger spice, the citrus lemon. There's a musk here, sandalwood that gives it this creamy base and just creamy body, um, body overall with this fragrance. It's crazy how much you, uh, what you have to pay. No, it's crazy 
what you pay for what you get. Bang for your buck for sure. This is really, really good. An excellent performer. If you love Blue de Chanel, or if you don't love Blue de Chanel, some people say the citrus is kind of mess with them. This citrus in here is more of a candy lemon, a more sweeter lemon, balancing out really well with that ginger spice and that sandalwood. It's really good, y'all. Great versatile everyday wear. It just, it just ain't gonna miss. It just ain't gonna miss. Again, in the realm of Blue de Chanel, but this does its own thing for sure. From the house of Masoni, we have Masoni Pour Own. Great stuff. Only half a bottle left for me. I've had this for a couple of years though, but it's really good. All right, and last but not least, another signature scent, everyday wear, versatile champion in all the frag com. Um, this is kind of love it or hate it fragrance lately, I, 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 you know, since I've seen recent conversations about this fragrance. Still good to me. Still a work for me. From the house of Versace, we have Dylan Blue. Versace Dylan Blue. Fresh aquatic shower jelly. Clean. Touch of green. Just a touch of green here. Nothing that's going to run you away, but just a touch. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I haven't worn this in quite some time, but I was going through some things and trying to find something to let my son wear to a, a get together he was going to. And I put on a couple sprays, I gave him a couple sprays of this and he was like, oh yeah, that's good. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> so getting reminded of how good this is, uh, synthetic and all that, I don't really care about that um, for those who may say it because somebody probably will in the comments. It's just a good fragrance. It works. You can wear it for every day. Fresh, clean, uh, aquatic feel, shower jelly, whatever verbiage you want to use, blue king. That's what this is. Versace did a great job with this many, many years ago. And therefore, the legacy of this should be healthy and should be strong. And my nine-year-old son really appreciated this. And as I sprayed it on him as he left out, for the, left out the house to go do his thing, I found a uh, reintroduction of appreciation for this as well. So from the house of Versace, we have a Delan Blue Great Everyday, Everyday Versatile Fragrance. For sure, signature scent, no doubt, all right? All right, smell good family. So those are the eight recommendations for everyday signature scent style fragrances. These literally are working every situation all year round. If you only want one or two fragrances or three to choose from, and you want to send them, uh, you know, somewhere you you know where you want to hold them up in your bedroom or something like that, and you just want to you know ring around the rosies, however you're feeling. All eight of these, I believe in my opinion, will work. Again, my personal preference. That's why they're called recommendations, and I ain't telling you to go buy nothing. But I am telling you to go test them and experience them. Get you a sample and head out to your department store and see if you like them. But I think these are great everyday wear recommendations for sure. All right. So until next time, y'all be cool. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. I greatly appreciate the support. It means so much to me. I do not take it for granted. And, uh, you know, positive energy and positive vibes. What you put onto this world is exactly what you're going to get back. And as always, baby, spag it up, spag it down. Spacking that thing all around. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Y'all be cool.